Good morning. The long awaited how to do Deutsch connector video. We were forced into learning Deutsch connectors when we got the new MSD system for the dragster. They use Deutsch connectors. So I decided to switch from weather pack connectors to Deutsch connectors on the dragster. And that's what we're gonna try to do today. Let's just make a simple connection. And what we'll do is we'll take a link of orange wire, link of yellow wire, and make ourselves a little dummy harness. Um, I like the, these Deutsch connectors. They're a little small. I found that you gotta have a magnifying glass in order to see the numbers on the back. And they're a little fiddly with my fingers. But other than that, they're pretty good. I've always liked uh, weather pack connectors. So what I found is it's easiest to put the connections on the ends of these wires first. And they want about a quarter of an inch Actually, what the instructions say is they want about a quarter inch of stripping taken off. And then between the connector and the insulation, they actually want to see a little gap of wire. We'll see what we get here. So about a quarter of an inch. So you see how that's, you see how that's uh, just on the wire and it'll go all down like that and you got just a little bit of gap there that's just what they want just like that and then I purchased an aftermarket pair of crimpers and it's got the same kind of opposing jaws in it as what the Deutsch connectors have but this you might as well take and throw out in the garbage it works great on heavy wire but when you try to use a um, thinner wire, the, the, the prongs in here seem to move off to the side. And if you look at the prongs versus the prongs that are in here, these are much heavier. I don't know if it'll focus. So you can throw that away. That's a waste. Now this is a depth and what you do is you take your fitting and you stick it into the, the gun like that and then you adjust this so that the crimp happens right in the middle of the barrel. You wanna adjust the crimp so it's in the center here. Now I'm a little bit towards one end, but that's okay. So let's do that. Well, there's one more thing you look for is in the barrel, there's a little hole there that's an inspection hole and what you can do is you look through there and you can see the copper okay so we crimp it set it down there flush like that and crimp it nice tight crimp now that's the barrels now let's do the pins a quarter inch Pick a pin, get my eyesight to work, slide it on, and crimp it. And one more. Slide it on. and crimp it. Now just a comment on these connectors. They make two different styles. These are what's called solids. They also make what they call stamped. Um, this is just a piece of metal that's been stamped and formed and rolled. This is actually a solid piece of metal. I elected to go with the solids for the dragster. I don't know why, I haven't read any difference one way or another. It just seems like the solid would be stronger than the stamped ones, so we went with the solids. So now we have a pin in a barrel and another 
pin and barrel. And now what we got to do is assemble the connectors. There's two different end connectors. One receives pins and the other receives barrels. So this is the barrel and that just pushes in there just like that until it clicks into position and it won't come out. And we'll put the yellow one in there also. And it clicks in, they won't come out. And that's what you end up with. Then there's this orange retainer that just snaps into place and keeps those barrels aligned. Uh, nothing comes loose. So it goes like that. So yellow would want to go in the back side here. And it clicks. And orange goes in the back side there. And it clicks. And then there's this little green retainer. And the needle nose helps put it down into where it goes. And you just push it down and it clicks into place. And now these two go together. And make a nice weather tight connection. And it actually comes apart too. So we should probably talk about taking these things apart now because they are rebuildable. So let's do that. All right, so now we want to take this apart. This part is fairly easy. You just uh, pry off this orange retainer. It comes out, you put that away. And the green thing, you just go in here with this little hooky thing and grab a hold of it and pull it out. So now the two locks are out and now we gotta get the pins out. So I have to move over to the vise for that. You don't really need a vise to do this, it just makes it easier. So what I do is I use the vise to grab a hold of one of the wires and then you have to go down inside the connector and find the little latch and release it and as the wire comes out. So now obviously you can't reuse that again, but you can reuse the connector again. Simple as that. Put this rubber back in and put that connector back in the box. Do the same thing for this side. So down inside, this is going to be tough doing this. There's a little clip right there and I have to pull that clip back and then just pull up on the the connector and it comes out. One more time, we'll try one more time here. So, there you can see inside. And you gotta go down and grab that connector right there. And you just pull it back and the uh, wire comes out. So that's the assembly and disassembly of a Deutsch connector. I hope you found this enjoyable. If you did, please click the like and subscribe. Thank you.